Hey church family, thanks so much for joining us for today's daily devotional. Jumping off right in the middle of the week, Wednesday, we have been looking at the day of Pentecost, looking at the great miracle that happened there as the Holy Spirit came down. Yesterday we saw how uh, the disciples heard the rushing wind, they heard uh, the Holy Spirit coming, and today we're going to take that just a step further as we look in verse 3. So we're in Acts chapter 2, looking in verse 3, which says, They saw tongues like flames of fire that separated and rested on each one of them. Uh, so literally, they saw these flames of fire come down and rest upon them. And it's a, a visual representation of the Holy Spirit coming upon them. And you notice the author's use of the word tongues. They saw tongues like flames. And, and uh, I mean, flames, we typically would call them tongues of fire as they kind of, you know, float up. A flame kind of floats up as it's burning off that oxygen and whatever, whatever fuel it has. Uh, but I think there's also a play of words here as it uses the word tongues like flames. It's as if to say that the Holy Spirit was coming to, to set on fire the tongues of those who believed that Christ was the Son of God, that they would be on fire to share the gospel. And that is absolutely a representation of someone who has a relationship with Jesus. Uh, they are on fire to share the gospel with the world. They, they desire to fulfill the calling that Christ has put on their lives to make disciples and to make disciples that starts with sharing the gospel. And the Holy Spirit empowered the disciples to do that then. And he empowers us today to do that. Uh, as believers, we should be on fire, fire and empowered by the Holy Spirit to tell others about Jesus. And, and just the opposite of that, if, if we don't tell people about Jesus, then that's a clear representation that the Holy Spirit has not had that effect on our life. That we're not on fire for God. And if the gospel is not that important to us. And so as believers, if you're a believer, my hope and my prayer is that you would be on fire for God that your tongue would be set on fire to share the gospel, that you would be empowered by the Holy Spirit to let the world know uh, who saved your life, who saved your life for all of eternity, who did for you what no one else could do. Uh, and if, if you find yourself in the position of having never shared it and having no desire to share the gospel, maybe that's because you don't have a relationship with Jesus. And for sure, I or someone here on staff at our church would love to talk to you about uh, what it means to be empowered by the Holy Spirit, but more than that, what it means to have a relationship with Jesus and how if we have a relationship with Jesus, we are then empowered and gifted by the Holy Spirit. We're saved by the saving grace that God has given to us through uh, the life and death and resurrection of Christ. And so if you are finding yourself in that boat, please let us know. Um, my hope, though, is that you and, and those who, those others who, who are believers would be on fire to tell others, to tell the world about who Jesus is. Our author gives us a couple of questions for us to look at. The first one says, what do the tongues of fire that fell on the, on the disciples represent? And then the second question, when have you felt the Spirit compelling you to share the good news of Jesus? Church family, I hope that you'll look at that last question and say to yourself, man, when have I felt him? And also asking yourself, was, was I obedient in that time? And was it only one time? Was it only two times? I mean, how often are you compelled do you feel the Holy Spirit compelling you to share the good news, to share the gospel? My hope is that you feel that on a regular basis. If you don't, you know, then I would encourage you to really explore that in your life. Really submit, your, submit yourself to, to Christ through fasting and through prayer. Ask Him for the Holy Spirit to compel you to share the gospel, to, to, to light that fire within you, uh, and, and that you set, set off under that journey to truly make disciples. And church family, as you're doing that, I want you to know that we love you and we're praying for you.